one thing I wanted to bring up is, you know, Deeks View, uh, at Deeks View OG on Twitter. He was with us here about a month ago. Um, he tweeted something that I, I really liked, and he said, this staff has Tyler Scott playing fullback. I don't know if you saw mm-hmm. that play or not. Yeah. Kareem blasting game. Yeah, Kareem blasting game playing slot wide receiver. Cole Komet playing quarterback. Yannick Ngakwe playing middle linebacker. Jervon Dexter playing defensive end. Andrew Billings dropping back into coverage and two centers that both can't snap and a wide receiver who cannot catch getting crunch time targets. It's like, listen, if you want to put blame on the coaching staff, that that's how you do it. Like yeah. 100%. That is mismanagement of your players right there. And, you know, if we want to talk about play calling or this and that or whatever, you know, I'm not going to get too, I'm not going to pick these guys apart like that, but, but this, yeah, like, you're you're a two win football team. I think there's some times where like even the smartest the smartest coaches in history just break it down and say it's a simple game. It's one guy hitting another guy and trying to go forward, right? And it's and, and that's the frustrating part where I think these are the guys where and we said this like at the beginning they get so cute, they get so cute with it. Valus Jones is in the game three times total, and it's either to return a kick or to do a jet sweep. And that's not creative. That's cute. Everybody knows what you're doing. Just because he's in there very little doesn't mean it's not obvious. At the same time, Valus Jones is wasting a roster spot. It, I mean, it, it, say I don't care how you feel about it, but that's insulting to so many players in the NFL that are like busting their butt to try to make a team and who could produce and help you in some way, some form, even a guy on special teams. You got that Taylor guy from Cincinnati basically to just fair catch punts because Valus Jones couldn't do it. I haven't seen this guy return one punt in the whole season, like not a considerable one. And so if you're wasting a roster spot on a guy just to return kicks and do gadget plays, and then he can't play wide receiver, this is similar to what Devin Hester was on this team, except it's insulting to even mention them in the same in the same breath, yeah. right? Because at least Devin Hester produced in on one area, some level, and then and then he yeah. could actually play at, at a, a little bit of Hall of Fame stuff. level in one area, right? at a Hall of Fame level. But this is just a waste of a roster spot. And then this is going to get cute, where you know fourth and one lately the last few weeks, you know they're hey it's Tyson, let's just tush push, let's brotherly shove it, let's QB sneak it. They didn't get cute the last few weeks. And I have this weird sneaking suspicion in the back of my mind. As soon as Fields comes back, you're going to see a fourth and one against Carolina, and it's going to be some sort of shotgun RPO draw. Because now we got our we got our toys back. We can get creative again. And it's not creative. It's stupid. 